Hey everyone, welcome to The Last Song, presented by Stride. I'm MLG Pro Player T-Squared, Captain of Stray Rippin, and today we're going to be grading Reflect on his Heretic TS gameplay. Let's check it out. Alright, so we're kicking this one off with Reflect on Heretic Slayer. It looks like MLG Playlists, and it looks like his strategy is to push out car side in the beginning. He gets shot once from the window as he pushes up, which means that he should probably just stay on the ramp and wait for someone to fight. Or Joe go up car three, which is something that I would have done. But he over pursues the guy car three and gets double teamed from the window. Now I like this play going out car side with his teammate, but you know, just because you see your teammate there doesn't mean you have to. You could also, you know, go from the window and help because then you find that guy right there who's flanking, looking for the double. Uh, or you could push out pink side, which he does right here. Now I like this, but he has a guy on car side and he has two guys pink side, so he likes to help the pink guys instead. Which is a good play. It was a good grenade there, followed up by a bad grenade, but you know, I wasn't expecting his teammate to jump right in front of that either. I'm sure he wasn't. Now he over pursues this a little too much. You know, right there he kills the guy, but he could have easily killed him with a BR shot, and the melee takes him to no shields. Again, pushing car side and getting, catching himself in this bad battle. He uses the wall really good to his advantage, throws a pretty solid grenade, but by that time he's already dead because there was not only two guys there, was, he had a bad angle anyway. That's about, I think, three deaths now from that side of the map. He walks right past the sword here, which is gonna, those are the same two guys I think that have been double teaming all game too, but he walks past the sword, which is a big mistake there. Even if he's not good with the sword, or he didn't, you know, didn't want to use it at that time, you still pick it up just because you don't want the other team to get it. Now this is a good play, he sees his teammate there, so he's going to pursue this guy. Hopefully that he gets help. Now it looks like his teammate peaced, but he timed it perfectly and has some really good shots. That was a sick play. Again, pushing out car side, which is fine when your teammate is pink, but... You know, this guy is, doesn't seem to be having such good luck on car side so far. And that's another death. I think that's maybe five deaths from car side of the map. I like what he does when he spawns. He knows exactly where he is going. He has a good awareness of where his teammates are. And, you know, his overall map movement is pretty smooth, which is what I like to see. This is a really good play getting into pink two there, especially since they had control of the map. He pretty much just, you know, with his teammates behind him, took over the map by himself. Now he waited to jump up there because of his shields were still down and he could have easily got picked off, which is a really good play. And he could have had better shots there, but look, three people shooting at him right here. Which means the guy around blue 2, XO3, and B72 can now flank car 2 and car 3, which is what I like to see. That was a good play right there. I would have went for the melee, but you gotta watch out for the guy on the right-hand side, too. He probably could have went P3. There's no use of having two guys P2 there. You know, one of his teammates was already there. He could have moved up and went to another side of the map. I like this again, pushing pink side immediately. Especially for him, because he has gotten so many kills pink side and so many deaths car side. So that's two kills pink side already. Pushes into pink two. Nice shots on the guys pushing out pink side. And now going P3 is really clutch because they just said that the guy was P2. And now he's P3, he gets a triple kill out of it. And all five of those kills came from pink side. Again, putting himself in really good positions, using his teammates. Some solid awareness from Reflect there. But then again, pushing car side, which is something that, you know, hasn't been so favorable for him so far, so. He could have probably pushed back with his teammates there and maybe went bottom center and front jumped onto the base, which would have caught him really off guard. He has three guys pink side right here, so he pretty much can do whatever he wants when he spawns. And then all three of his teammates jump right in front of him, so. He over pursued that, but he was getting shot in the back. You know, what happened there was when he spawned his teammates just shouldn't have jumped out into that far of the map. You can see his teammates on the Eli there. <laughs> You'll hear the Eli and the Gandhi callouts a lot, and that's just a really popular term because those players use that so much in Halo 2 and dominated that spot of the map. Eli and the free for in Halo 2 was so annoying in that spot, I remember, especially because of his internet and how much he pulled those. I like this option right there to go from car to shooting pink one to help his teammate who is, you know, in trouble pink one. He knew that there was a guy there, but he figured that if he times it right, shoots the guy pink one, by that time the guy will be coming from top of the base to kill him, and he does exactly that. It's just unlucky that he got stuck. I like this play here. Instead of pushing out, you know, 
car two to you know car side of the base, he front jumps. And even if he didn't catch him off guard, it was a little faster than the other guy on the Eli anticipated. This was a bad play though. I would have definitely went for the melee or a couple more shots on the P3 guy. Oh. Again, pushing with his teammates into pink too, which is you know a really solid play. Good shots there. You know, his teammate threw a good grenade, and then this is a very smart move going P3 here. Especially with the score 46-40, if you can get into P3 and maintain map control, it's almost a guaranteed win, no matter you know what your shots look like. You can just tell how much easier the kills are from when you're pink three compared to when you're on top of the base. You know, the fight for Glory Baby in that situation compared to the fight that Reflect had is just so much easier, especially with Reflect falling. But he could have stayed blue side pink three if you guys are wondering on how he could have improved that situation without dying. He could have stayed blue pink three instead of challenging that guy. With 50-46, you don't want to be trading that much. After analyzing Reflect, I'd give him a B plus on his gameplay. His 1v1 BR was on point. He had a good overall team shot, and there were a couple of plays where he took some really smart angles on the map. However, he needs to use grenades more and utilize his play style by pushing to pink tower. Thanks for watching everyone. This has been MLG Pro Player T Squared from Stray Ripon with another Last Longer episode. Be sure to check out more Last Longer videos on MLGPro.com presented by Stride, the ridiculously long lasting gum.